It's a rare sight when all eight lilies bloom in the lake of gentle rain. You will be attempting a zen-like experience of placing and coordinating tiles of the lake in attempts to bloom the lilies, and as you progressively place tiles down, you'll place the lilies based on the colors provided. Your objective? To get all eight lilies placed out as quickly as possible. The game is quite simple. You'll be drawing tiles and placing them down and coordinating the colors with the same colors and trying to make squares, placing the lilies and having as many tiles left over, adding your eight lilies to your point total and any tiles left over. Can you get the coveted 21 points by the end of the game? Find out in Gentle Rain by Kevin Wilson, a game that plays one player or more if you like a cooperative zen-like experience. Let's show you down below what the game looks like, how it's played, and I'll give you my review. So here we have the game Gentle Rain by Kevin Wilson and Mondo Games, and it's a solo player experience, but it does play cooperatively if you do want to play with more than one player. And and the way it works is very simple. You're going to take out all the tiles here and all of these little lily uh, tokens here as well. And there's going to be eight of them. And they're all going to have their own different color. And then, of course, the tiles are going to represent the different lilies. And they're going to be represented on the colors all along. Now, the one thing I wanted to note, too, is that none of the tiles have two of the same color on any of them. It's something I had learned my first game. Might as well just tell you that right now, which is going to add to your strategy for the game. The box here opens up, and it has the place where you can place the tiles and, of course the lilies and then on top is the rule book which is very easy to read and understand in less than five minutes. Setting that aside, I'll show you how the game works. You are going to start by taking these tiles and shuffling them up and then placing one of them down in the middle of the table within easy reach of you or any other players that you're playing with. You'll notice the different sides have different colors and then you're gonna go ahead and take another tile and that's the entire game. You'll grab a tile in place, grab a tile in place. You must always place adjacent to another tile currently in play and the tiles must have the same color when you place. So orange to orange, green to green, and blue to blue. You cannot place something like yellow to white or orange to white, that doesn't work. So when you place these guys down, it should form one of the lilies. And your objective as you're taking tiles and placing them out onto the board is to not only match the colors, but also form squares. And in this case here, none of the colors on the outside match this tile, which means that you're going to go ahead and, oh no, there is one. If, if, there, if there wasn't though, you would actually go ahead and discard the tile. But in this case, yellow to yellow. And I'm trying to make a square here. Let's see if I can do that. So we do. So here is a green and here is an orange. Now we've made a full square, which is going to allow us to take one of the lilies and place it in the middle section here. You'll see there's a little circular section. You can place any color lily that you want as long as it is adjacent to the circle. So I can place a green, a yellow, or an orange out. I'll go ahead and place that orange right there. And then you'll just keep playing the game. You'll take another tile out and you will go ahead and place it somewhere on the board, take another tile out and place it somewhere on the board, matching the colors as best as you possibly can, trying to form these squares here. And that's it. That's the entirety of the game. Can you match all of the tiles in order for yourself to score basically those squares that will give you the points you need? Uh, this one here would be pretty close, but unfortunately they're kind of swapped sides. But I think you understand the basic principle of the game. Uh, once you've placed out all of these tiles here, the game will end and you'll score points. It'll be number of lilies placed, which is eight, plus the number of tiles remaining that you didn't use. If for some reason you unfortunately, like myself the first couple of games, were unable to place all the lilies out, your score is just going to be how many lilies you were able to place out into these little circular areas on the board. And then once you're done, you'll take all the tiles, you'll shuffle them back up, place the lilies back out next to you, and you can go ahead and once again begin the game Gentle Rain. It's a very simple, very straightforward experience. And when you're playing with multiple players, instead of just playing by yourself and drawing one tile one at a time, you will go ahead and say, okay, I'll place this one tile. Now my, the next player will take a tile out and place it. And then the next player will take a tile out and place it. And there you go. You'll have a cooperative experience for the game. Okay, let's come up and I'll discuss the review of the game. Gentle Rain is a solo and cooperative experience of just simply shuffling up tiles and placing them down to form the best you possibly can uh, combinations of colors. And of course, gathering those specific lily blossoms and placing them down in the middle when you form squares. And there are eight different colors, obviously, and you have to 
kind of coordinate which ones go where and when. And of course, the best combinations you can possibly get are the ones that you're going to want to place down when you can. There's a little bit of luck in the game based on what tiles are going to be provided for you and when they're provided for you. And when you get tiles you may not necessarily want, that's where the strategy comes in. Where do you place them and how do you place them in order to coordinate the most points you possibly can get? And of course, uh, when you play with yourself, you're just simply drawing tiles alone. And of course, when you play with other players, you can go ahead and share the experience by you draw a tile, they draw a tile. The game is easy, very, very simple to understand, but the strategy is quite complex in nature. It kind of reminds me of the game Cristallo, uh, but maybe a little bit less strategic than that one. This one's kind of more of like a relaxing placing down type of game where you have a little bit of choice as to where you place them. Sometimes you can't place a tile, other times you have multiple options, and based on those choices is where the strategy kicks in as to what type of lilies you want to produce. Because once you've placed a lily down of a certain color or type or variety, that one is gone for the rest of the game, and that color is not going to be as useful when trying to construct the little squares and the lake-like areas. Uh, the game's theme is really, really functional in this, and it also works well as to kind of how the game is trying to intend on you to play it. It's, it's supposed to be kind of a relaxing experience where you can kind of play this by yourself while watching TV or listening to music. And of course, uh, the strategy is going to be light at most of the time, but when it does kick in, you have to really debate on where you want those tiles to be placed. If you're looking for a game that's like a deep strategy, deep thinker, it's 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 got that, but it's not like super, super in-depth in, in, that, in that abstract way, but it does have choices and thought-provoking decisions you'll have to make in the game. And it's also, of course, one of those games that takes maybe about 10 minutes to play. Once you've played it once, you can go ahead and once again repeat and replay it again. The replayability, of course, comes in how much you like puzzle abstract games like this one and like Cristallo and other tile placement games. And if you enjoy those, like my wife does, she really, really enjoys those type of games, then this is going to be a game that you're going to want to take a look at. The colorful visuals are wonderful. The tiles are high quality, thick pieces of cardboard, and you're not even going to be able to bend these guys. They're, they're good, very, very strong pieces. Uh, the little uh, lilies that you're going to be utilizing have a beautiful coloration to them and are nice and thick. You'll know when you place them down and where they're going to go. And of course, the setup and replayability setup of the game and tear down of the game are really, really, really simple. I'm going to highly recommend this game. For those of you who like a relaxed and like experience game that plays one or more players in a cooperative sense, but in reality, this is a single player game where you try and accumulate more points as you move along, this is the game for you. I played this the first time, scored very little points, less than seven points, based on the amount of lilies I was able to place, and then progressively able to place all the lilies and get a nice little stack of additional tiles that I actually didn't end up using in the game, which will then scored me points for each of those uh, that were available to be used, and I didn't have to actually use them. And you'll start seeing little combinations of how to place the tiles. I won't give you any of the uh, details as to what I learned, but you can, I can say for sure, certain that there are uh, learning, cho there's choices that you'll have to make. And when you make those choices, you'll see why they work or why they don't work. And you'll kind of learn as you progressively place tiles out each and every time you play the game and what a better way of combining the tiles and shapes are. And how, of course, you most likely will realize as you're understanding the rules that a four by four grid is the best possible combination, very highly unlikely I imagine, uh, but getting something close to that in certain ways will provide you a benefit of scoring more points at the end of the game, and there's ways to do it that you might not actually realize, which is a nice little additional touch mwah, to this game. It's one I actually want to go ahead and do a playthrough of at some point, just to show you guys how it plays, because I think for those of you who enjoy simple abstract games with a beautiful feel and a relaxing gaming experience, you're going to enjoy this game. Hardcore war gamers or strategic like minis gamers, maybe not for you, but I think most of the people who've watched this video and seen what it's like and understand the gameplay and complexity of it are going to know if this is something that they'd want to check out or not. But overall, I really, really enjoyed Gentle Rain, and I think you will too. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Gentle Rain. If you're interested in picking up the game, there will be a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and purchase the game, and of course add it to your little abstract gaming collection. You can also go ahead and like this video, comment and let us know what you think about a game like this. Are you interested in light abstract games? Why or why not? And would this one fit in your collection if you are? Also, of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button. It will let you see more videos 
those of ours, YouTube will allow you to be, uh, to get, basically get notifications of when our videos pop up as opposed to just them going into your feed. And that greatly helps our channel out and allows us to produce more reviews of games just like this one for you to see us play. Our live stream is every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. PST. You can watch us play games just like this one every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. Don't miss it. On YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, all three platforms, and they're all interconnected. And we also do giveaways there as well. Patreon members, thank you so much for supporting us. There's a link down below if you'd like to support us on Patreon. It allows us to give away games every week on our live stream. And that's pretty much all I got. Uh, Moonshell is coming along. Still waiting for that pledge manager to kick on because Kickstarter is uh, going through its review process. I thought it'd be a lot quicker, but it is what it is. There's really nothing I can do about that up until they say it's okay. And then we can green light it and put it up there for you guys. But we do have manufactured prototypes on their way, which at least give you another update to see that we've been progressing the game as quickly as we possibly can. All right, guys, thank you so much. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next lake. Seeing you guys in the next lake. That's a weird one. Seeing you guys at the lake. Much more zen-like, I think.